today we have a very special title and our title today is remove not thy ancient landmarks this title is very dear to my heart as i know it will be for some of you now before we start what do you understand by this title sister Tomisin? to me it means salvation and to continue to preach salvation as long as our church stands it also means teaching sanctification holy ghost baptism divine healing restitution and most importantly, the Holy Bible as it is. It means a church still makes you to the altar bench and cry out for the Christian experiences. A church where prayers are focused. Also, midweek services is our priority for Christian maturity and growth. We are not Sunday, Sunday Christians and God is first in all things and that should not change. Amen. Yes, that is what we are all about. This is our church. This is Apostolic Faith Mission. This is our camp meeting. God so help us, he will check our hearts. He will grant us all of our Christian experiences. And he will not remove those ancient landmarks. God bless you all. Amen. Help me. Help me. Oh Lord. To stand each Now We have many people praying for us. They are looking this way. Praying that the Lord will be with us. On behalf of the Portland Church and the Apostolic Faith Work Worldwide, Debbie and I extend greetings to you who have assembled. We also pray for the sick to be healed, Amen. every saint to be encouraged. Amen. The saints at headquarters and across America are praying for you. Amen. May God bless each of you. Amen. For 75 years, up to that 1981, of what the Lord has been doing, since the beginning of this work, and I have no regret, no regret one day, not because of being a pastor, not at all. If I were to sit down there, I would say the same thing. And I say, I have no regret at all. Since December 1, 1974, on a Sunday afternoon like this, when I decided to go down on my knees to confess my sins to God and ask God to forgive me, and heaven came down, and God forgave me. No regret whatsoever. That, that he baptized more disciples than John. Though Jesus himself baptized not, but the disciples. But what did he do? He was saying that I am not comfortable where I am. Despite the fact that I have this whole crowd, and I sit in London, and I sit in Birmingham, and I sit in wherever we have come from. He said, no, 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 no. There is still a soul I'm looking for. There is power in a cell Through his eyes the blind can see He has stealing in his hands There is house for you and me And we seek God by calling upon him, by, you know, confessing our sins. Oh, even if we have had the world before flowing and you, you, you hardly felt happy lately, just dig those wells again. Amen. Go to the right, the first place where you dug that first well and dig again. Amen. 